Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you the products that I got in my October Pink Soul box. And, ooh, I'm losing stuff. I had it open to um, do the thumbnail. But anyway, it looks like this here. Um, Pink Soul is a bi-monthly subscription box um, that is um, Korean skincare products that is a like I said a bi-monthly box there's different levels of boxes I get the the most expensive one I don't remember what the different levels they are there's also a monthly sheet mask box that you can get um, you fill out a questionnaire and then based on your questions they will curate products and send them to you so um, this is the October box. So if you were to say you watched the video and you thought this would be something that you would like and so you went in and signed up, um, you would not get a box next month, November, because um, the way they do it is you get is October. The next box that they're gonna be doing is gonna be December. Even though you sign up now, your box won't come again, it won't come until they send out the next one, which is December. So, um, I will tell you that I have been doing um, the boxes for a year and a half now. And when I get my December box, that is going to be my last box. And it's not because I don't like the service, I do. And I have um, pretty much enjoyed most of the products that I have received. Um, they're, of course, you know, being products that you don't know what you're getting that other people have selected for you. Um, of course, there's going to be some products that have been hit or miss. I have just decided I have an abundance amount of skincare products uh, between this, what I've purchased, and... Anyway, I just have too much, and so I'm going to take a break from Pink Soul until I kind of get my collection down. And then I think I'm going to look into maybe doing a Japanese curated type of box. But that's going to be later on in the future because, like I said, I have a ton of skincare, and it takes a long time to get through skincare because most of these products will last, you know, two or three months. And that's why they do a bi-monthly box is because they send full-size products and they know you can't get through a full-size product in one month. And so they, even they know that, that's why they do a bi-monthly box. So anyway, first of all though, I wanna show you, um, if, you lot, if you watched my last video, which was a Sephora fall haul, and I'll put a card up here either going to be up here or up here. I, I can never remember which side those things go up. Anyway, I had a fall haul and in one of, and in that fall haul, um, this palette here was in that haul. Anyway, this is what I created um, my eye look with today was with this palette here, which is the Dose of Colors, the Sassy Siennas. My daughter actually gave me this palette and this actually didn't come from Sephora. It comes from Ulta. But anyway, um, yeah, that's how what I created this eye look with today. It really worked really, I was really impressed with how easy it went on and how easy it applied. And then the blush that I'm wearing today is um, this one here from the Hourglass palette, blush palette thingy that I showed that I was kind of disappointed in. But the more I've been using it, the more I've been kind of liking it. So, and this one is the color the color, the color, the color, um, the color, Lucid Glow, one, two, three, yeah, the stroke, oh, oh man, I just dug my nail in it, <laughs> the um, strobe blush in Lucid Glow, <laughs> So you can't really tell by the swatch of it right there, but that is what I have on my cheeks, you know, as my blush, you know, but it's on top of my bronzer a little bit there too. So, but yeah. So anyway, if 
you want to know more of what I bought in that haul, you'll have to watch. You'll have to watch it. Anyway, okay. On to Pink Soul and what I got in my box. Okay, first of all, in your box, um, you'll get as a bonus, you'll get some mask, some sheet mask. Normally, they've been sheet masks, but this time. I received in my mat in my box a hair mask. I don't think it was part of the box. Was it part of the box? No, it was not. No. So the mask, the sheet mask that I got was from Bearsome, and it's a cocktail recipe mask in Peach Crush. Just like that there. Sheet mask. And then I got a hair mask, and it's the Medi Heal in in elm in. <laughs> oh Lord, E B. N M F Midnight Capping Pack, and it says sleeping type. <laughs> um, does this have any directions in English? other than made in Korea. No one did I think this was a hair mask. Nutrient moist factor. Why did I think this was a hair mask? Midnight capping pack. Did I see something that made me think this was a hair mask? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like this here. Why do I think this was a hair mask? Is this a hair mask? I'm confused. Of course there's nothing in English. <laughs> I'll do some research and hopefully I can put like some information here if I find out that if it was a, a um, hair mask or if it was actually a face sleeping mask. But why did I think it was a hair mask? I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I got that. Okay, so now into the products that were actually in my box. And um, I wish I would have brought my phone in here so I could add up the um, value other than in my head. Okay, all right, this one is the first thing. I thought when I first seen this, it was some kind of candy. <laughs> like some kind of marshmallow candy because it's kind of squishy. And the little girl, she's got like... Like she's enjoying, like she just ate something that was really, really good and delicious. <laughs> and, it, but it, and then it says bun puff. Then I thought it was something that, you know, to put up your, your hair and, you know, you, those little round thingies that you make a bun in. But it's not. It's a makeup um, sponge. It's a cute non-latex puff for all skin type, including sensitive skin. This retails for eight dollars. Uses a makeup or beauty sponge to apply foundation, concealer, BB cream, or blusher. So, I am going to open this because I have been wanting to open this and use it. And I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> it's got her on there too. <laughs> okay then. So it's really flat on this side, and then it's domed on this side where that little girl is at. And this was from the Holica Holica brand. So that's going to be kind of interesting to figure out how to use. Doesn't have no funky smell. <laughs> I'm always worried about it. something's going to have a funky smell to it. Anyway, so that retailed for um, $8. I think I would rather it had been some kind of um, sweet candy. <laughs> Alright, the next thing I have is um, 
from G9 Skin, G9 Skin, and this is the Bulgarian Rose Hydrogel Essence. When I seen this, I was like pretty, pretty excited about this, and this retails for thirty dollars. So this is, so far my box is thirty-eight dollars, and this is Essence to improve skin tone and elasticity. Um, this Essence contains pretty rose petals made from hydrogel to moisturize and provide vitality to your skin while cooling your skin temperature when applied. Huh. It has damask, fresh damask rose extract. And then it has, contains hyaluronic acid and nine kinds of berry extracts to offer moisturizing and nourishing effects. nice nice cinnamide in it that's the one two three the fourth ingredient in this is nice cinnamide so anyway I looked at this and it's really it does have rose petals in it I don't know if you can see that but yeah it does have it's not a very big bottle either for 30 bucks for an essence that's not very big and it does smell like rose. Oh, it smells good. Mmm, smells yummy. So I'll be giving that a try. So that was in there. The next product is from um, G9, another G9 skin product. And it says you'll receive one G9 skin product. Selected based on your skin type and every area of concern and that's based off of how you answered the questionnaire and the one that I received is the um, This one here and This is the g9 skin moisture cream white in moisture cream for whitening looks like this here Sure, I'm recording. Yes, and this is a moisture cream with milk protein extract for moisturizing and radiant skin benefit. And um, this on the the paper here. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It comes with a paper that tells you all about the product, how to use it, and what it retails for. It comes in every box. I forgot to tell you that. This is, um, I had to look this up, and this retails for $22. So we're at $30, $40, $50, $60. So this, this has paid for the box. For the box. So um, these then were free, and then the next two products that are in the box are free. So the box has been paid for. With these products, um, I thought this had something to do with um, had milk or something like that in it. Yeah, it says super intense moisture cream with a dual effect of enriched whitening and hydrating formula. So I'm kind of excited about having the whitening part of it because I'm always looking for something to help you know with whitening and brightening of the skin. And when I looked this up, it had a little bit more detail, and it said that it had um, milk, the enzymes from milk in it. I'm trying to open it, which, which makes sense because it looks like it's in a, like a little small milk carton like you would get like if you're at school or something. And at the cafeteria. Can't get it open. There we go. Let's see if it had anything inside that said anything else about it, which it doesn't. There's nothing inside the box. Does it say anything on the package itself other than, no. It's really cute packaging. I like the pink. Does it have a scoop or anything like that? Nope. Has a, almost like a, 
lotion-y smell, like a hand lotion smell. Yeah, I do smell some fragrance in there. Like a hand lotion-y fragrance smell. Hmm. <laughs> Stuck it on my nose. Hmm. It's kind of a thinner moisturizer, so it's not real heavy. Um, but it seems to kind of, it's taken a little bit to kind of work it in. That scent is very faint. It's a very faint scent, so I don't think it's going to irritate or bother. But there you go. Does it feel sticky? No, I don't feel sticky. So anyway, I'm going to start using that and trying that. Incorporate that in. Let me use it in the morning and see how my makeup goes on top of it. My eye is itching. Okay, all right, let's move on, let's move on. So the next thing is from G9, once again, and this is the Skin Light Serum um, for $28. So this is another product that is free because my box is already paid for, so I've got $28 free. You will receive one serum selected based, <coughs> based on your skin type and area of concern. And unfortunately, I got the hyaluronic acid, which is for moisturization, which of course, when I put in my thingy, I told them you know, I had dry skin. Moisturizes, cool, soothes, and calms skin. I would rather have the Arbutrin and Gothidolin, which was for bright and radiant skin, or the Collagen and Panthol, which was for anti-aging benefit. They could have sent me that one. Or the coenzyme Q10 and vitamin E for damaged and aging skin. They could have sent me that one. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I got the hyaluronic acid one. The light serum hyaluronic acid for moisturizing. Which maybe will be okay for going into winter. But I just know how that hyaluronic acid works. You know, it, it draws moisture from outside. And with us going into winter, you know, everything's so dry. I just don't want it to suck all the moisture that's already in my skin. You know, so I'm gonna have to, when I'm using this, I'm going to have to make sure that I'm putting extra moisturizer on top to make sure it's not taking the moisture out of my skin anyway but it's a cute bottle look at the bottle and this was $28 see how it smells it smells kind of fruity I wish I could see what the ingredients were It says it has, oh, it has watermelon in it. That's why it smells fruity. Watermelon fruit ex extract. Mm -hmm. That's why I smell fruit. Yeah. See, there we go. There's the hyaluronic acid. Does it feel sticky? Hmm. You know, I don't, kind of does a little bit. I just wonder if that's going to play well under makeup. I don't know. So I'll probably have to use that, and then I'll probably have to put this on top of it that I can't get open to really lock that in and give it some moisture to draw from. Which seems kind of weird to me that you're putting on something that's supposed to moisturize, but you're, you have to put something on top of it that's got moisture in it for it to draw moisture from, to moisturize. See, oh man, that just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, so there's the two kind of put together and that's going to take a lot of, um, <laughs> that's going to take a lot of 
rubbing that in to get that to soak in because it does not want to soak in. That is like really just sitting on top of the skin. I don't know about those. But then again, I may have gone way too much, but I don't know. I don't know about those. Okay, and then the last product that I have is from Barisome. Barisome. Didn't we just have another product from Barisome? Yeah, I think this mask was, wasn't it? The sheet mask. Yeah, the sheet mask was. The sheet mask was from Barisome. This is another mask. This is $15, and it's the face wrapping peel-off mask. And again, you would get one based off of your area of concern, based off of your um, questionnaire that you did. And I got the gold one, which is good because the black one had charcoal powder in it and I don't like anything with that charcoal powder stuff in it. But this one contains 24 karat gold, honey, and other ingredients to firm, nourish, and improve skin elasticity. It says apply on dry, Cleanse face, avoiding mouth, eyebrow, and lip area. Leave on for 20 to 30 minutes until mask is fully dry. Remove gently, starting from outer area. Um, clean skin with toner. Continue, continue with basic skincare routine. Recommended to use three to four times a week. So there's more than one application in here. And it has collagen and hyaluronic acid in it. <laughs> Collagen and hyaluronic acid. Oh, and it looks like that right there. That's cool. We might as well open this up too and see what it looks like while we're looking. Yeah, I'm really thinking these products are going to have to be used at night because that is really, really sticky really sticky. So, and here is the mask. I'm going to have a yellow face. Here's what the mask looks like. Does that have a smell? I don't think so. I can't really tell because I have that other stuff on there. I'm going to put a little bit more on there just so you see what it really looks like. <laughs> Very interesting. I like the color. It's a nice fall color. Gold. That's the mask. So anyway, um, not that excited about my my box, and that's been kind of the case the last couple of times with my boxes. When I first started getting them, I I really liked the products that I was getting, and then they just kind of started going downhill. So, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the December box and get it, and then I'm I'm done with Pink Soul. Just I think I'm just burned out with them. Um, they were good for a while, but I've got too much of their product. Um, it's getting to now where it's just too much of a hit or miss for me, and um, so. I do like the mask, and I'm, I'm really contemplating about getting the, the mask box. I'm thinking about doing it. I think it would be good. But anyway, so that is it for this uh, month's Pink Soul unboxing. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I will be talking to you soon.